All right. No more messing around. Let's get ourselves a W here. Easy peasy. Maybe shop? We can look at the event first. I'm liking lose 7 max for transform 2 here. Choose a card and 3 random potions feel pretty weak. Boss swap's a little unreliable. Transform 2. One strike, one defend. We get Immolate Sword Boomerang. Immolate is definitely a good card at the start. The fact that we got it in exchange for a starter card is even more absurd. I like it. Maybe I'll go here just for a remove then. How's it going, Jaded Bobers? With uh, Deus Ex Machina specifically, the miracles will be free because the miracles are directly put into your hands. Without commentary, how easy would it be for me to beat the Act 3 boss in 20 minutes? On A20, it'd be a challenge, but doable. On low ascension, we can do that reliably. Used to be one of my favorite things to do, speedrun through the Squire. Bloodletting, huh? Yeah. Blood for Blood Thunderclap, kind of interesting. Thunderclap with Immolates something, but I really value an energy generator on Clad. Quite a lot, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Minus one, I guess? I guess so. These cards are bad. No, thank you. What do you got? Ouch. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> One more? Success. Okay, all that for a paper frog. Potentially worth it. I feel like we have more health than we need, thanks to the Immolate. So I'm not too, too afraid, but... Uh... Love that. We also have no potions. I'm not going to go to this shop. We should we should take more card rewards and more fights to get a potion before the elite here. I was hoping we could potentially heal off of one of them. Although Jawworm has already made that not an option. Pinky Jawworm. Dupe Pot. That goes with MLA to just kill sentries. Battle Trance is premium card draw. Primo. I love it alongside the um, bloodletting in particular. These four are jerks, or are they? Bloop. They're not even here. Easy. Blood for blood looking a little bit better with bloodletting, but I'm going to take shrug, shrugletting. We're just going to upgrade our Immolate. And... Poor, poor Lagavulin. Going to find out the hard way. Hmm. Something, something, the hard way. Gotta be worth playing so we can play the Immolate, surely. Didn't have a good dupe pot opportunity there, so I guess we're gonna save it. Although our health doth fall precipitously low here. Do like 34. Debating whether we defend or bash. I think we defend. Defend strike here. Looks pretty reasonable. Yeah, we can just bloodletting to kill now. That's probably a good idea. 
draw is bad here. We could do burn, burn, defend, defend, defend. That'd be bad. We would need two strikes to kill. I guess one kills with Duke Pot, but let's just pay three health. Get out of here. Score our tiny chest and our flame barrier. And I have two more elites coming up, huh? That actually might be worth a rest. Feels like a good time to rest. We could upgrade Battle Trance. But this is just a little too dangerous for my liking, especially because this one could be super Legavulin. So I'll, I'll lose one upgrade here and get a bit more health. And the Blood Vial will give us even more health. Two health per combat. It's early enough. I like that. So we get eight health per fight. Do I need to dupe Pot Immolate at all? I think I'm going to. Strike, we live on one. Guess I should have dupe potted Immolate, huh? Yeah, I definitely should have used the dupe pot. I was thinking we want to use it here, but now we have very little health. We're not guaranteed to draw Immolate next turn, so it kind of feels like I need to play the bash. I'll go to one. I'll go to one. One is fine. One is none, they say. One is none. Take a Pomel Strike. Take a Bonus Relic. And if you thought I wasn't going to go to the Elite Fight, well, you're sorely mistaken. And I think I speed potion here. I'm gonna want it in slime boss. Keeping this potion for slime boss is pretty good. Uppercut is a nice upgrade. Burning pack's a little tempting too, but with the bloodletting, I particularly like having the weakened bone attack of the uppercut. Health continues to trend upwards here, just like we like to see it. Now we're at 20, 22. We want a seeing red, not with bloodletting. Blessing of the Forge. Nah. And now it feels like we're okay. Let's take an event here, because of a tiny chest of Omori. We should beat Slime Boss pretty decisively at this time. To fight anyway. That's fine, I guess. Thanks for the health, hee <laughs> hee. Double tap is back. We keep get, we keep getting offered double tap um, outside of rare card rewards from the boss, and it keeps being actually decent here. I like double tap with immolate. I like double tap with uppercut. 
How many hours of Spire does it take to take on the Burning Elite with 9 health and not do Pot Immolate? Oh, just a casual 7,000 or so. That's all. I think I'm saving Dupe Pot for this fight specifically, by the way. Get sponged. Fifty-nine, fifty-nine. That actually feels unnecessary as well. Goes to twenty four. Uppercut strike puts it to one. It's not where I want you to be. Good enough, I guess. As soon as we draw immolate, this fight is over. GG. No potion used. Means we get to keep two potions going into Act 2. We're operative feed. It's very hard not to take feed. There's also Reaper here, but you'll note a distinct lack of strength gain, which is kind of required for Reaper to be particularly good. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Why do I regard Ragnarok so highly and not Sword Boomerang? Oh, because Ragnarok does so much damage that it doesn't matter where it hits because every enemy on the field is dying. Ragnarok is just so much damage, it's impossible to, to ignore on Watcher. I'm taking that feed, by the way. And is it Cursed Key Omamori Tiny Chest Synergy? No, I'd rather go Omamori Calling Bell Synergy. Um, we could also consider Sneko Eye very effectively here. Really good with Immolate, really good with Flame Barrier, really good with Uppercut. Yeah, this is a Sneko Deco for sure as he's here. Very happy with Sneko. Although the curse interactions are tempting. Badonk, thanks for the two months. Excited for some Against the Storm. We're going to be doing some after this run. I'm excited to start a new run of Queen's Hand in Against the Storm. Yeah, I'm taking Sneko here. I think this is a very good Sneko. And now we get to go Elite Hunting like this sequence of elites. Maybe that means we don't go for an early shop. Although I, I kind of love this. This would be a forced treasure chest here. No, let's do this. Let's go two shops. Two shops is fine with this much money. All right, Sneko Eye, what do you got? We might not be able to land feed in every fight because of the fickleness of the Sneko Eye. That is just going to have to be okay. They want to put an emphasis on winning fights where we can, not playing that defend for Orichalcum. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to feed here because we're just going to win. Take the W where we can. Don't want to lose too much health. There's a feel no pain. It was a card we were desperately searching for last run. I am not going to ignore Feel No Pain when I see it, generally speaking. Especially because of how good a Corruption would be. Um, but what about Apotheosis, Dark Embrace, Dolly's Mirrors kind of stuff? Take an Apo. No question in my mind would take that. Lantern is pretty good with Sneko Eye. So 
So I did uh, Black Lab of the Cat. Cat, I did record a primer for Against the Storm, which will be coming to our Plays YouTube channel soon. Yeah, as uh, Do Not Put Me on Pizza is re relaying that information too. So I will have a an intro Against the Storm video that can help. Uh, I'll, I'll do a bit of an intro as well uh, for today's play sesh, I suppose, that can make things a bit more understandable. Do we actually want to duplicate anything? We could double feed? Oh, that's greedy. I'm going to another shop, though. Realistically, I should either buy the lantern or, or save my money, I think. Would Against the Storm play well with a controller? I don't think so. It's a very tooltip heavy game. I really think a mouse would help a lot playing. I want the Dark Embrace. I want the Lantern. I want the Lantern. Oh, I want the Necronomicon is what I want. Read this freaking book with Omomori. Come on. Necro, Necro, Necro. Yes! Necronomicon. The first attack played each turn, costing two or more, gets played twice. Free double taps all day, every day, for life. And free relics all day, every day, from Tiny Chest. Wow, just a random gremlin horn. Thanks, Tiny Chest. For once, you weren't crap. Good job. Oh, perfect timing. Who's ready to get double tap immolated? You stinky nerds. Although, if I double tap immolate them, I'm not feeding, huh? Hmm. A distressing problem. Pretty bad first draw. Definitely. I think I want to use a potion. Let's just go Apotheosis and strike Romeo. Block for six. Okay, Immolate is zero cost. That's perfect, because that way it only kills two of them. Just what we wanted. Try to draw a feed. I see. The block will fall off, so it dies to thorns, unfortunately. So no feed for us. Unless we swift pot, and even that's not very likely. That's fine. I will take a second uppercut since we're a Sneko Deco. More weakened Voln is plenty welcome. So far, we haven't been able to land our feed. That's kind of sad. But things can change. Flame Barrier, Bloodletting, Double Uppercut? I think so. Uh, yeah. Get punched. And get Flame Barriered, everyone. Okay, that's really truly a bad draw, though. I'm going to use this with Pot now to, to try to either get Feed, yeah, there it is, or Immolate. We got both of them at zero cost. That's perfect. So we will upgrade the Feed. Play the Feed. Play Bash, Immolate. Double Bash, Immolate, rather. And then full block. Okay, that was a good turn. And a good swift potion. We score a kunai for playing three attacks in one turn. We'll get dexterity. Surprisingly easy to do, thanks to Necronomicon. If you want some strength scaling, you can take a spot weakness, which I actually think is worth it. Power through is an option too, but the wounds could clog our deck. I'll take a spot weakness for some strength. 
And the current path looks great. We're going to have lots of money for this shop. We are continuing to obliterate our foes. Probably. So we do 13 plus 22 is 35. 45, 55. Okay, cool. Like full block. Get sponged. Double immolate to your face. Wait, we have feed. Don't forget the feed. Don't double immolate to your face. Do double pummel strike to your face. And then Feel No Pain works alongside Orichalcum to mostly block this turn. There's our precious feed. Can't upgrade the feed. That's okay. We'll just feed regular style. Delicious. Ooh, Carnage, Snekawai, Necronomicon. Or, uh, not, sorry, not Carnage. Whirlwind, Snekawai, Necronomicon is a yes from me. Cur curious if I've ever been forced to block Necronomicurse with Omomori when we'd have rather had it in our deck. I think that's happened with Pain before, but I'm not sure about Necronomicers. Yeah, I'm not sure about Necronomicers. Normally, I would love this card. Clothesline's not bad, but we have two uppercuts, so it's redundant. I guess with the Feel No Pain, a Burning Pact is okay, right? Yeah, it is. It's okay. Don't want a Regal Pillow. Plenty of healing. I do want to fight the Book of Stabbing and utterly destroy it. Could play Bloodletting to double play this strike. Doesn't seem worth it. I kill it if I want, but we can very likely just feed on it next turn. So, let's take a little bit more damage to get the feed here. That's an upgraded feed. In crunch. Double your block. Eh, I don't think so. Tie in the Dungeon Origins. I can't say I've seen that one, Carton Van. That'd be a good one to suggest for the game boat. Currently, our preliminary February game boat is open on the Discord. So folks can suggest games to play. Those will get voted upon by our lovely Discord community. And then we have a sort of a two-round voting process that narrows down all the suggested games into <clears throat> eight games to be voted upon by everyone who watches the stream. And we use that to pick one new game to play each month, which has resulted in... Many, many delightful games that we've played on stream. Do we ever take Evolve here? Eh, it's not that good. We have Immolate, but it's not particularly good with, us, with other stuff. Um, so game suggestions go in the Game Vote Voting channel of the Discord, which I, I plugged in today's going live announcement.
Have I ever played Aces and Adventures? Yes, we checked that out for a sponsored opportunity. Thought it was kind of cool. Didn't love it, but I did like it. We have Xaxes on Prismatic Shard? All right. You've got it. If it's Xaxes, it, it must be. It simply must. I guess upgrades are no longer that important because of the Apotheosis. That means we can upgrade Feed. Just in case it doesn't get upgraded otherwise. Perfect. Delicious. And nutritious. Not gonna bother playing bloodletting there. Already full blocking. Hard to do better than a full block, right? Slice and dice. Prayer wheel is pretty cool. Normal enemies drop an extra card award, which is going to make the prismatic shard a lot more effective. Because we're going to be able to look at more cards. Sentinel is very nice. We have a burning pack to exhaust it. Hopefully we'll find other methods. Pious cognition. Probably not the thing for ironclad. Probably not. Hmm. Could just kill it instantly by playing Uppercut Immolate. I would like to feed here, but it seems like it's going to be difficult to do. Worth trading a lot of health to feed because we are we have so much more health than we need for champ, though. So I will do it. I will do it. Should have double tapped that. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, didn't. Hmm. Okay, feed is back and can be played twice. Good. Delicious. Power pot's pretty powerful. Take a third uppercut. Terror is kind of cool for permanent Vuln, but uh, we already have so many uppercuts. I don't think I need a third uppercut even. Is a power pot ever better than either of these? I guess for corruption it is. Let's go power pot, duke pot. I guess I'll upgrade feel no pain. Let's just recall actually. What's the most broken deck I've had with Prism? I've definitely done some hot nonsense, like Divinity Bludgeon. I definitely remember playing Pen Nib Divinity Bludgeon on Decca for over 500 damage one time. That was fun. Oh, actually, yeah, so we've, we've had Nightmare Nightmare Wish, which made infinite money. And we've also had Lesson Learned Searing Blow which did over 200 damage. Those have been pretty cool things that we've made. I'm gonna get rid of Sword Boomerang. <clears throat> Actually, no, we have Spot Weakness. Never mind. All are welcome here.
Juggernaut after image was also a fun combo. That one doesn't quite count because indeed we did use a seed to make it happen. But that was very fun. Neko is not cooperating, huh? Excuse me, I'm trying to scale here. Sir. Trying to figure out the right moment to launch my assault. This is a good time, because if we bring champ below half health now, we won't be weak or vulnerable for the execute turn. So yeah, let's go now. Excellent draw. Perfect. Oh, that gets doubled. Whoops. Right, that was double tap plus. That's fine. Anyone for random potion generation? That sounds pretty cool, actually. A feed and an alchemize in the same deck. Maybe a phylostone? I would like more energy to deal with... Sneko draw costs. Velvet Choker can be a little awkward. Actually, this is not a bad Velvet Choker deck. Necronomicon makes it a bit more awkward. If we get a Corruption, we're going to want to not have Choker. And a dad joke for who took my cheese. Why couldn't the cheese thief successfully steal any cheddar? Because he wasn't a very good a thief. No refunds. Touche. Do I want upgrades? Great question. Doesn't matter. They're in my way regardless. Hmm, I'll allow it. I'll also allow Tiny Chest to give me another relic here. That seems fine. Events are fun and all that. Uh, we do want regular fights, though, because of Prismatic Shard Prayer Wheel. Hmm. Interesting dilemma, actually. Something like that. First up, Dorklings. Prepare to get dorked. That joke was as good as it gets. Also known as not very. Not very good. -a.
Hmm. If I strike you, you die to thorns and I can't feed, so don't strike. We're here to feed. There it is. Another sentinel is okay. Cool head, it's no good. Sentinel's not even that good, actually, but I'll, I'll take it. I'm hoping it'll become good somehow. Lots of money could help. Take the madness, or the writhe, rather, since we have Umamori here. This is a guaranteed treasure room. Let's take one more fight then, actually. Let's get another double reward with Prayer Wheel. Another feed as well. Delicious feed. There we go. It's awkward, though, to get a feed. But worth it. Totally worth it. Bonk. Ooh, leg sweep I like. We don't have that good weakness currently. Impervious, definitely. Those are great. Especially with the uh, apotheosis. Centennial puzzle gives more card draw. Got another relic coming up, too. Lots of relics this run. Dinky hmm. daggers. Ah. Not a great turn one, but at least we killed the minions. Beautiful. Easy peasy. I should have left her enough health that I could play the Immolate. That's my bad. Or a Calcum blocks, at least. Okay, here we go. Good. Full health, which is a hundred. Lots of juicy stuff. Do we want Predator? Next turn, card draw is actually kind of cool. If it gets doubled by Necro, it's a ton of card draw, too. I'll take it. I'll take a Predator. Is the ice cream good with Sneko for evening out the energy wobbles? I think so, yeah. I think ice cream with Sneko Eye is very good on average. I like it. These three are toast. Delicious, delicious toast. Well, they're very crunchy sounding. Yep. 
there it is, Double Predator. Draw many, many cards. Thank you. Enter Wrath. Hologram is definitely a Sneko card. I don't know about Simmering Fury here. We have no way to leave Wrath, which makes it a little bit spooky. Although dealing double damage is very strong. I think we're already dealing plenty of damage. Red Skull will help with the damage dealing. More strength if we're below half health. Sure, sure. We're going to upgrade this. So it never exhausts. Berry Halls with the Prime Sub and the 17 months of support. Many moons. Many, many moons. Oh. But my face, though. This draws cards, actually. Aha! Not my face at all. Much better. And now, the dreaded triple tap. done. I've landed a feed is what I've done. I'll take it. Then we get the free heal, so actually it didn't cost me much health at all. Windmill strike. Already got a double tap. Don't need two. Yep. We'll go double uppercut, double tap, predator. I don't like that. Draw 10. Ideally, we get back to that searing, or er, that uh, feed here. Easier said than done, though. Our deck doesn't block the best. We can hologram leg sweep. That's pretty good. You take some damage, though. Just four. And 26 is the number to block this turn. It's not hard. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Boomerang, double tap feed. 
tasty. Self-repair plus would have been cool a little earlier. As it is, we're in good shape here. None of these help either. So not a lot of prismatic shard cards that worked out for us. That's okay. That is okay. I guess I could just Apo draw 10 next turn. I'm okay with that. Hmm. I'd say that worked out. Too much damage. Classic problem. It's more like it. Hmm. Oh yeah, like I played three times. Even better. Perfect. Score ourselves a boot thingy. Score ourselves second apotheosis? Question mark. Not sure if that's actually helpful. Kind of neat to have. Sure. Just for backup. Why not? Why the heck not? Um, I guess I'll sleep. Fine. Use the first Apo to upgrade the second Apo. Now you're talking. Good turn one. We landed our feet already so we can focus the rest of the fight on not doing that. Which I rather enjoy. Apotheosis. Plus, having a kunai is already pretty good enough scaling for this fight. Typically don't need a lot more than that. Twelve strength is plenty to let us get a very rapid kill, especially with the additional help from the... Paper Frog that we paid so much health for at the beginning of Act 1. That was worth it. Odd that Whirlwind didn't play again there.
There was no enemy to target? Whirlwind doesn't target anybody. This is not a targeted card. So I'll just take this hit to the face. We already landed feed. That's right. Hmm, GG. I also could have hologrammed a uh, pop or um, alchemize there, maybe. Don't think it matters too much. Toasty. Characters benefit most and least from Prismatic Shard. Most, I would say, is Ironclad and Watcher. Actually, no. Yeah, Ironclad and Watcher. Watcher because she can use her stances to multiply attack cards from other characters. Ironclad because of how much exhaust there is in the general card pool. You can build exhaust synergies quite easily. Defects really suffers because of the difficulty of getting orb synergies. Island is kind of 50-50. You can't get poison, which is a little annoying. The rest doesn't matter that much, though. This is way too much draw. <laughs> Way too much draw. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good potion. Cool. No donut for us. We'll be eating the other one today. Tasty. Delicious. And as always, nutritious. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of these delicious meals? You deal 22, 36. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. We get healed to full with the blood vial. So I guess I might as well upgrade, I don't know, Whirlwind or something. Whatever. The upgrade barely matters. There's the stick. It can be a dead branch deck. Seems pretty good. Yeah, dead branch seems pretty good here. The ching Whenever we exhaust a card, add a random card, and I'll take seven more health for the road. Delicious. Who's laughing at second apotheosis now, right? Exactly. Apotheosis, upgrade the other apotheosis, please. Good work. Oh. <laughs> Who needs dead branch corruption when dead branch gives you the corruption? Hello, Silva. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Hey, 
infinite block. You heard me. Infinite drop kicks. Spiky. Even at two cost, drop kicks worth playing as it gives back two energy and draws two cards. Delicious. Absolutely obliterated these fools. Obliterated, not our focus. Anything but that. All right, I could really use a corruption right about now. If you don't mind, Spire. Somewhat underwhelming turn one. At least we get to double uppercut and gain dexterity. Could alchemize if I'm willing to use one of my potions, but what would I use here? I don't think so. This is perfectly fine. We deal over 100 damage on turn one. That's a great start, in fact. We'll do it. Ooh, now that's more the kind of hand that Gambler's Brew is for. A full hand of starter cards, pretty much. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of all of that. Thank you. Actually, no, we should play Bloodletting, then get rid of even more cards. That's a little bit better. Lame Barrier on the multi-hit turn is perfect. This Philo Stoneheart, by the way. So it's a bit spookier. We either Predator or Leg Sweep. have to choose. Spiky. 105 return damage. Feels really good. Good thing we got two apotheosises. Apotheodes. Not sure what you'd call them. Apotheoses. Yoink. Mm. Sure. It's not like we have Art of War. <clears throat> How's it going, Relic 05? Welcome to the live stream. Happy to hear you liked the guides. They were definitely fun to make. for damage.
You fool, you've only made me stronger. S stronger. And I think we just go face here. We just play double whirlwind. Let Orichalcum block here. Ouch. Perilously low on hit points, but perilously close to winning as well. I like it. Nice. That's all it takes. GG, Mr. Hart. Be free, my fairy friend. Nah. If only. GG! If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.